Hey guys, it is Chris here again with another episode of Magic the Gathering. We are playing a Flex Vexing Pest deck. Uh, and our opening hand isn't too bad. More Brawl, as expected. So you have a weird mishmash of creatures that are just basically our pseudo drives because Blex, he's a bit of a lord for all. And there are many tribes that he helps. So we're going to put the Stone Coil down on two. Uh, Blex will actually increase its power to three next turn, so. We can get six power on board without actually having, um, without actually having to wait till put our stone coil up to three. Our opponent is playing a progeny deck. I do not know. Well, I played a little bit of her in my Kazmina deck. I think she's probably a pretty decent commander actually. Like, blue-green ramp, it hasn't been the best that it has been in the past four or five months, but it's still pretty decent. And paying one mana, putting a land on the battlefield, eh. You can see it elsewhere, but the draw two attached to it also is really nice after you get up to the eight lands. And if you don't get up to eight lands, she can still draw you a card, so. I do like that uncommon. So we swing in for six here. We were hedging on the fact that they would not block, and they did not, so. We ended up getting lucky. One of the things I wanted to try out with this deck actually was, um, Scoot Swarm. Scoot Swarm makes insects, and it itself is an insect. So with Blex and Landfall, you can get some pretty crazy board states. And he just lords all your tokens, whether they're scoot swarms or insects. That's pretty nice. So we're going to play our prof Professor here, I think. Professor ends up giving us a pest. Um, and that'll be good in the long run. It adds six power to the board. We can't pass it up for four. Well, there was an argument for going into a different line, although our mana is a little bit cost intensive. Like if we had gone for the Lotus Cobra, that would have been the only thing we could have done that turn because we only have one green source. It would have been nice to get Lotus Cobra down. But what I'm thinking here is that I hope I draw land. We did draw land, which is good. We can play that. Actually, we're gonna go into our uh, wolf plan here the wolf can actually remove that 46 46 and we can turn our professor of zoology into a bunch of more pets so it's good for us six pests total not gonna be able to block out a 46 46 but it gives us a lot of room assuming they don't get trampled the get trample were still in pretty bad shape. They have not reached the requisite eight lands to make their commander to turn on the commander's second abilities powered up version. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I don't know why they would have the card to make a land a snow land. A little weird choice, but... <clears throat> we actually do a perfect card here. Each player sacrificing a creature means that it'll destroy one of their creatures. We can sag a pest. That'll put a counter on our wolf. We can block out this turn, and at the beginning of the next upkeep, we can get rid of their 46-46. Pretty decent, if you ask me. Our Sledgemore wish is actually pretty, pretty nice addition to the deck. Uh, well, 
But our opponent... Mm. Opponent countered our spell, but we still got a counter. We attack in with a couple of pests. We went back to block, gain some life. Our opponent is up against a wall. They can't necessarily avoid to attack out at us. They go for a field trip. And they are thinking over their options. Get another token. Not really what you want to see here if you're them. It might have been just the best thing they could do. Either way, the Shapeshifter and the Fractal are going to die next turn, so... Yep, our opponent figured it out and they scooped it up. <clears throat> that was game one. We will have a game two in this session. Just have to get to our actual game two. I managed to get caught up on my daily quest, which is nice. Been pretty busy lately, so... I have not been keeping as studious a hold over those objectives as I should be. We are waiting. Oh, Brawl has found an opponent. It looks like we are up against Will and Rona again. Well, not again. I don't think we've seen them in our Brawl series, but we might have seen the older version of them. The one from Eldraine. We probably have seen that version. I wonder what type of attack somebody would brew in Standard with these particular commander. Our opening hand's a little bit weak here. But we had what we had. We are going to get down Blex. Opponent seems as though they may have some response to him. We'll send him back to hand. We don't want to pay unnecessary commander tax. Especially when we're not drawing any lands. A midnight clock comes down. During our turn, we destroy Midnight Clock. We don't get max value out of it, uh, because it's not an arcane signet, but... Still good to have that thing off the battlefield. But the Midnight Clock can be a bit deceptive in that it may look just like a mana rock. But when it hits 12, it's pretty much game over. Your opponent draws a new hand, you're stuck with nothing, and they can pretty much just run back whatever horrible things they had done to you up until that point. Solemn's gonna find a basic land. We draw a vampire that we cannot cast. Gonna get down some pests. Pests are good for many things. Blocking is one of them. Hopefully we'll get the chance to block. Blocking a Solemn doesn't really seem worth it, but... Maybe there'll be something else. Yeah, Robber of the Rich. Robber of the Rich is a something else that we would love to block. Because it does give our opponent incremental value over the course of many turns. So as few turns it attacks is what we're after. Hmm. <laughs> Spell Gorger word. Is that still in standard? I thought that was from War of the Spark. Did it get reprinted somewhere? It may very well have gotten reprinted somewhere. But I know it was in War of the Spark. Which is non standard. So that means it had to have been. Will comes down. Of the two, I think he's probably the better one. Our opponent attacks in. We block with our zero two indestructible squirrel. We draw a fourth green source. Oh, that is not good for us. Actually, that was our fifth green source, wasn't it? 
Our deck of green black, Shuffler. Why are you doing this to us? Huh. Yeah, I do not know what's up with the Shuffler these days. Does not seem to like us very much. He gives us black cards when we have no black mana. Eh. But on the bright side, at least we were able to cast a few spells this game. Few spells. All green, though. Which is technically the root of our daily quest, but... I think black spells are also applicable for our daily quest. Our poor squirrel got tapped. And our Umari is not blocking us a zero two. I tried to play a card that has a swamp mana symbol in it. Uh, turns out you can't play those if you don't have a swamp, which is weird. Why would they make that like that? I don't know. But that's just how it is. We played on our Blex, which is supposed to be a lord for this deck, but as you can see on board, he currently pumps zero out of our three creatures. To be fair though, he is one of them, so we can't really blame him too much for not pumping himself. Wizards has been kind of on a binge of making sure things don't destroy standard. We're gonna put Blex probably back in the command zone, right? Although I take a long time to decide this. I may have just been slightly tilted at this point, I don't remember correctly. When he goes back to the command zone, we gain 4 life. We have nothing left to play. So we pass the turn. We think about blocking, but... You know what? We're not going to accept sacrifices here. Blex, he's the best pet. Can't let our pet's friends go murder themselves. I'm just going to cast this spell here, which is really nifty. It allows you to return creatures from your graveyard to your hand. So I didn't have any creatures in my graveyard, which is really bad. Our third creature returns to the battlefield. It is once again Blex. Our Toski is Toski. He has to attack. There is no alternative for him. Our opponent blocks with a solemn tenure in room. And this is the point where they're going to begin to decimate our board and murder us to death, but... What can you do? These things happen. They drew two cards. Two cards is better than drawing one card, I will say that much. They only have three blue sources. Which is impressive, but... Considering we only have zero black sources. Yep, bounce. If they have another bounce, we're just dead. And there's the Brazen Bar. He can go to our hand. I don't know we're going to discard him. Because we will never see another end step. That's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.